Tesla's investors hope that the automaker will one day be the world's biggest company. And this is very possible. It is only a matter of years. Apple is currently the world's most valuable company, with a market capitalization of over $2.4 trillion. But it wouldn't be surprising to see the technology giant cede its position to other fast-growing companies that are operating in disruptive areas by the end of the decade. Tesla is growing, no doubt. And if allowed to grow in a more economically thriving environment, the car company can grow to even greater levels in the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Tesla launched its initial public offering in 2010. When the company went public, Tesla's stock price was trading at a split-adjusted rate of $5. Since then, Tesla's stock has jumped by more than 28,000%, making it one of the best performers in the market. A few years ago, the concerns were if Tesla would turn out to be a profitable company. But this view changed recently when the company started making strong profits. Tesla has a net income margin of 10%, which is expected to grow as the company continues to scale. In 2020, Tesla had its first significant profit when it made $862 million in net profit. The figure rose to more than $5.5 billion in 2021 and over $11 billion in the past four straight quarters. The car company made a net income of $3.3 billion in the first quarter of 2022, followed by $2.5 billion and $3.2 billion in the next two quarters. But how much can Tesla potentially make in 2030, and what would its stock price be by then? Keep watching to find out. Before we start, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on everything happening with Tesla. While Tesla was growing, so also were other EV makers. But Tesla has managed to stay above these companies and currently leads by a far margin. Tesla has several advantages that other companies like Rivian, Lucid, and Neo will require years of consistently high revenue figures to enjoy. The car company has the infrastructure needed to succeed in the EV industry. It also has the biggest supercharging network globally, which puts it ahead of so many other electric vehicle companies. Tesla also has manufacturing plants in the most important markets in the industry. The automaker has operations in China, the United States, and Germany, which are top markets for electric vehicles. It is also looking to launch operations in Mexico in no distant time. This helps Tesla develop and sell cars faster than most manufacturers in these markets. Although the long-term performance of Tesla's stock has been good, its journey to the top hasn't been so smooth. Tesla's stock declined by 38% within a few months in 2015. Similarly, it dropped by 56% within a few months in 2019, at the time when Elon Musk disclosed that he had funds secured to take the company private. There have been several predictions for Tesla stock, even as far as 2025 and 2030. Many analysts expect that Tesla's share price will be significantly higher in a few years than it is today. But how much can Tesla really be worth by the year 2030? Let's find out. Say in an extreme bear case scenario, Tesla does not deliver on RoboTaxi, makes no revenue from the vehicle, and only gets to deliver 5 million vehicles by 2030. If growth profit per vehicle falls to $6,000, leading to gross vehicle profit of $30 billion, and in its energy business, Tesla only reaches 300 gigawatt hours sold. In this scenario, Tesla makes up to $60 billion in total gross profit with net profit representing two-thirds of the gross profit. That gives a net profit of $40 billion. With a P.E. ratio of 10, Tesla will have a market cap of $400 billion. Suppose there are 4 billion shares available, then Tesla will have a stock price of $100 per share. In the base case, Tesla produces its robotaxi fleet of 1 million vehicles, and each Tesla-owned robotaxi makes $50,000 a year in gross profit for Tesla. Say there are also 1 million private robotaxi vehicles, and this fleet generates up to 15,000 gross profit for Tesla. This gives a robotaxi gross profit of $65 billion. If Tesla sells a million bots and is only able to sell 12 million vehicles while making $10,000 per vehicle with a P.E. ratio of 25, its market cap will be close to $6 trillion. With 3.5 billion shares available, Tesla's share price could reach $1,600 by 2030. In the bull case, however, Tesla makes a total robotaxi gross profit of $800 billion from both Tesla-owned and private robotaxis, $450 billion in gross profit from energy storage, 
$1 trillion in gross profit on 20 million bots sold, and total gross profit of $2.65 trillion, with two-thirds of this as net profit. At a P.E. ratio of 50, Tesla will have a market cap of $88 trillion. If there are 3 billion shares available in the stock market, Tesla's share price will be set at $29,000 per share. Can Tesla really reach this price? Well, let's see what others have to say. Head of Barron Capital, Ron Barron, said in a previous interview that he thinks Tesla's stock could hit $1,500 by 2030. He added that he isn't concerned about volatility in the market, especially with current levels of consumer demand for Tesla vehicles. Barron considers Tesla's current demand to be at historically high levels, and he expects the company's stock price to keep going up in the years to come. Likewise, ARK Invest's CEO Kathy Wood also considers Tesla as a very lucrative investment opportunity. The stock expert has shown significant interest in disruptive innovation and has previously explained why she thinks this venture will scale from less than 10% of the stock market to more than 60% by 2030. Wood considers shares of such ventures as highly valuable, adding that most investors will be missing out on unbelievable opportunities. Tesla is highly invested in disruptive innovation, which could be one reason Wood is so bullish on the car company. Also, according to a recent report by Worm Capital researcher Cameron Tierney and partner Eric Markowitz, Tesla is likely to dominate in the S&P 500 by 2030. In the report, Tierney and Markowitz claim that Tesla's competitive edge coming from advances in artificial intelligence makes it a serious contender in the industry. The report cited a multi-year study conducted on Tesla's various business sectors, all of which have grown as a result of the ever-expanding car company. It further states that Tesla is aimed at controlling and reinventing its own components, tools, and factories to suit its needs. Tesla has the potential to become the largest company in the world by 2030. The automaker should be able to sustain its terrific growth for a long time thanks to massive opportunities in the EV and the semiconductor markets. Analysts expect Tesla's earnings to grow at 55% a year for the next five years. The company's CEO, Elon Musk, has also set an ambitious target of selling 20 million vehicles annually by the early 2030s, which would be a massive increase from this year's planned production target of 1.5 million. However, while Tesla continues to show great expertise in EV production, it is important to note that the company is facing significant competition from both incumbent companies like GM and Ford and upstarts like Rivian and Lucid. Also, high interest rates will likely make Tesla's products unaffordable, even with the incentives in the Inflation Reduction Act. But considering that Tesla has a strong market share in the EV industry, a strong supercharger network, and a loyal fan base, the automaker may be in the leading position for a long time. Several reports have stated that the car company is far ahead of smaller EV makers and traditional automakers alike. Researchers also expect Tesla's growth to help it achieve a compound annual growth rate of 50% by 2030 as net income and free cash flow growth accelerate in the coming years. And even if we assume that Tesla's bottom line increases at 25% a year through 2030 owing to the growing competition in the EV space, its earnings could increase to $24.30 per share at the end of the decade, compared to 2022's estimated earnings of $4.08 per share. It is expected that Tesla will not only overcome its market challenges, but will also rake in more revenue as it continues to grow. It is also noteworthy that several major valuations of Tesla do not include Tesla's robotics business, which is slowly gaining its way into the limelight. The Tesla robots are already in the works and are said to be worth more than the car business and even the company's full self-driving or FSD program. How much do you think Tesla's shares will be worth in 2030? Let us know in the comment section. If you would like to know what Tesla has been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.